Wyndham County has been declared as a COVID hotspot this week. I'm here at the abandoned Wyndham High School as students are forced fully into online learning according to the governor's newest mandate. According to state officials, a town is considered a red alert area when their daily COVID-19 cases are 15 or higher per 100,000 people. Governor Lamont made an announcement that Wyndham, um, as, he, as he's deeming it, has called it a red alert area. Um, and that kind of decision in it um, said to go to more remote learning possibilities for school systems. Although the situation is constantly changing, faculty and staff members remain hopeful and rely on the Wyndham community. Our staff has done an amazing job to keep the school safe. We're, we're following all the, the measures and then it's just important to know that um, the mitigation strategies um, work within the school, but they're only as successful as what's occurring out in the community. Wyndham High may be closed over here across the street, but the university is still open on a hybrid model, allowing a limited number of students into the classroom. In a statement, the Director of University Relations, Edward Osborne, tells us that the Eastern's administration continues to work closely with the Connecticut Department of Health and local officials to monitor the COVID-19 pandemic in our community. We trust our local officials to make the decisions they must make to manage the public health in our local schools. On our own campus, we are very appreciative of our students, faculty, and staff for maintaining the healthy protocols we have in place to keep the campus safe. Wearing a face mask all the time, maintaining social distancing, and following the other measures we have put into place are helping us make COVID-19 on our campus? I think that someone would have to be, um, I think someone would have to be really brazen to uh, think that there would be zero cases because I just don't think that's a realistic expectation. Staying together, one community against COVID-19. One of the underlying issues that we're starting to kind of see is the negative health impacts on on uh, on, on society and particularly uh Eight, 16 to 24 year olds. Um, we're starting to see a lot of evidence that suggests there's a lot of uh, potential mental health problems that are occurring because of uh, the pandemic. You know, if you're having those types of uh, feelings, if you're having those types of negative uh, mental health um, uh, kind of episodes or outbreaks, I, I think it's important just to understand that Again, you're probably not alone. Wyndham School District has said that they hope that the close isn't permanent and are planned to returning to the hybrid model in a few weeks. For ETV News, I'm Megan Slonsky.